Welcome to my extended dual bogey tutorial for God Hard Mode. I'm going to be focusing on this first checkpoint, which is going to be, um, I would say, the hardest checkpoint of the game by far. It's the uh, final bosses, and it's that first checkpoint. Once you beat this first checkpoint, meaning once you take out the first bogey, um, you know the, the second part is very easy compared to compared to this. This is insanely difficult. So, um, what I wanted to do with this tutorial. It's take about 10 minutes showing uh, my failed my best failed attempts. I isolated my best failed attempts from about three and a half hours of, of footage. It took me about three and a half hours to finally beat this part. And in the past, I estimate maybe 10 to 20 hours for this one checkpoint. It was just a very rough estimate, but it took me days to beat this. Um, but this time, I beat it within three and a half hours, you know, nine years later. So I didn't really have a good, um, you know, I had to relearn God Hard mode again. Because this is not a game that I've played consistently over the years. It was a one-time event for me when I beat it back then. So yeah, what I'm going to show is you're going to see various you know, failed attempts that got very close. And you're going to see how fast you can really fuck up in this fight and how fast you can die. I'm also going to show how quickly I would often restart the checkpoint. Um, I, I would do it very, very quickly if I missed my rocket or my melee attack. Uh, basically, if I, you know, if, I, if I didn't get my two-hit combo in the beginning of the fight which would be a melee attack followed by a um, rocket, basically. If I didn't get that in, I would restart immediately. And on the Xbox Series X, it was about a three-second load time every time I restarted, so very, very quick. And this is all edited. This is just isolated. Um, I just took out my best, my three or four best attempts. And at the end, I show the attempt where I actually beat it. And my tutorial, you know, it covers the whole game, but I only had about two minutes to talk about the bogey fight, so I wanted to go into some more detail here. There's a lot that can go wrong in this fight. So, as you probably noticed by now, my, um, the combo that I'm relying on for this fight is I throw out a stun grenade, then I slide towards the bogey, and um, once I slide towards it, I, I try to hit the melee attack a little bit early, before I actually get to the bogey, because sometimes that'll do double damage for some reason. I think it's a glitch that I found. Um, but it's rare that I get it, but it does happen. And once I hit the bogey with the sliding melee attack, um, I have the rocket launcher equipped, so I, I automatically backflip and go into AR mode, since I'm aiming, um, you know, still aiming with the rocket as I'm backflipping. And then I wait to hear that beeping sound of the lock on and release it immediately, and I'm able to get in... Um, a melee hit and a rocket in one combo by doing that. That's the combo that I repeat again and again and again throughout the whole fight. Now you'll see I did experiment at some points with trying to you know fight one of the bogeys with the shotgun as a uh, secondary way to get some extra damage in. I was doing that for a little while, but I didn't practice fighting with the shotgun enough to really be um, efficient at it. But it seems like a great method if you can get good with fighting him um, when he's on the ground with the shotgun and rolling back and countering his moves. You can actually stun him, and you can get him into a stun loop and totally destroy him that way. It seems like a pretty easy way to take out one of the bogeys, as long as you're not being interrupted by the other one who can easily kill you at any point. So you got to be very careful regardless. But it is an, an optional way to get in some, some heavy damage quickly if you run out of rockets. But see, for this method, I try to rely solely on those combos. So I, I use the six rockets available on the field. Because you start with three rockets, and you can pick up another three on the field. So, um, and if you don't have the weapon loadout you want, you can always collect it on the field and, and just commit suicide, and you'll start with that loadout. So yeah, you see how fast I restarted because I missed. I, and see, I fucked that up, so I restarted it. Anytime I fuck up at all, I restart in the beginning. So, see, this rocket didn't go through, so I restarted. So, you can see there's a lot of restarts that happen when, when I'm doing this fight. Um, it's a constant thing where I restart frequently. See, the camera fucked up on me, so that was a restart because I couldn't get in the rocket lock on. Sometimes, if you don't hit him just right with the, the sliding melee attack, the camera gets all fucked up. So, you really gotta, you, you gotta do everything just right to get that combo in. It's a little tricky to pull off all the time. And I do miss it sometimes, and I, and I still manage to, you know eventually beat this fight again but you know it is costly to miss that combo since you have only nine emp grenades to use and only six rockets so if you're not making full use of that combo 
you know, if you just shoot him with a rocket and you don't get a melee comboed in there, you are kind of, I mean, you're getting some damage with the rocket, but you're not getting the damage you could have got if you stunned him first and then got that combo in with melee and rocket. You know, that's double the damage. Because a rocket does just about as much damage as the sliding melee. So, um, so that, that's, the, you know, that's pretty much the basics of it, but I wanted to show a little bit more of how this fight can go wrong. And I figured I would at least save some of the footage of, you know, my best attempts since, you know, it is some more footage of, of me fighting these enemies instead of just having one clip of me beating it. I mean, it, some of these were very close, so I thought it would be cool to preserve it. Give me a little bit more time to expand on what I explained in the, um, in the full tutorial of the game. But yeah, see, sometimes I do decide to get greedy and waste a rocket. And the reason I did it there is because I was counting on it going into the cutscene once I got his health down to about where it is right here. But unfortunately, I think I still had to get his health down a little bit more to trigger the, the quick time event cutscene that ends this, this uh, fight. So I underestimated that. It was sloppy of me to waste a rocket and then, you know, wait around. But now you'll notice in these videos, sometimes I targeted solely the pink bogey and sometimes the purple one or the blue one, if you want to call it blue. Um, the reason for that is I was experimenting with uh, which one I could stun and take out of the air more frequently and, you know, and, and, and get the combos on. And in the end, I decided that it seemed like I did better when I focused on the pink bogey. That could be coincidental, though. I would suggest experimenting with, with both of them because they both have different attacks. The pink one will sometimes perch up on ledges. So if you throw out a stun grenade, you won't be able to bring him down because he's up on a ledge. So he's not always available floating around. The blue one seems to be available a little bit more to stun and take down from the air. But for whatever reason, I started having more success with the, uh, with the pink one with this strategy. This is a strange strategy, though, because it's very high risk. I mean, you, a lot of times you have no shields and you move a lot slower because you don't have your shields. You know, whenever your shields are down, you move at a slower rate as well. So you pretty much, if you get hit by anything when your shields are down, you can die from anything. So it's more dangerous than it looks. You see how fast you can die. You know, even though I was close, you can really die at any moment on this fight. That's what makes it so difficult. You know, even when my awareness, it feels like I'm pretty aware of what's going on, I still um, can easily get killed at any time. That's why it still took three and a half hours for me to beat, even um, with playing pretty well. And a lot of times these fights end as soon as they start. You know, they end very soon a lot of times. Or I just restart frequently until I, you know, get in that little combo that I try to get in at the beginning. I mean, the, the combo does, does huge damage. You only really have to do it maybe five or six times to beat one of the bogeys. But it's dangerous because every time you do it, you strip your armor down and then you have to wait around to heal. Uh, because you can't do your melee again until you have enough uh, boost meter again to, uh, to slide in melee again. So... You know, it can be very dangerous. But there's a lot of opportunities to stun them and get them out of the air. And like I said, if, if you practice fighting them at close range with the shotgun, you know, like when they come down with the sword and they try to fight you on the ground, I would recommend practicing. If you don't want to just rely solely on this method, then practice the shotgun as a secondary way to do damage. Because um, if you mix the shotgun method with this, you can get their life down a lot faster. I mean, you can even beat them with just the shotgun. You don't even need to do this. But I was stubborn. I wanted to repeat my, my old method from nine years ago just to, just to have video footage of it. I thought it would be cool to showcase something different that I haven't seen uh, in any videos before. So I thought it would be cool. I actually read about this method on a forum, but I never saw anyone do it. Or I don't know if anyone really did it for the entire fight. It's probably not a common way to fight these guys. But I actually like it. I, I, I mean, for me, it's, it's the most approachable method for my play style because I like playing very aggressively and dangerously, but I like taking guys out as fast as possible. I, now, I probably could have taken them out very quickly with the shotgun too, but I just wasn't familiar with that method. So this was finally my successful attempt three and a half hours later. And it's definitely satisfying to beat that shit again. So yeah, if there's anything that I didn't cover or that you have any questions about, let me know and I'll try to remember. Thanks for watching.